very deceiving, you know. I mean, this hill, this little hill doesn't look anything special, but carrying your bike up here, it's a bit of a ball ache, mate. You guys fucking appreciate this shit. Because I fucking do. So it's probably been about 30 seconds since I last put my video on. I'm sweating out of breath. But it's not as easy as it looks carrying your bike across all these blinning rocks. But yeah, it looks can be deceiving. It may be small, bruv, but it certainly knew how to not fuck about. That's for sure. You don't need anything big to blimmin' basically destroy someone's life anyway, do you? A few guns, a couple of bodies, and a good blimmin' location. And that is a very good location. But yeah, let's move on, because well, well, the only reason why I started recording again is because I needed like a little 30 second break. This is basically what we have to do this whole blimmin' way up. It's a very slow, slow process. Now I mean, we have to get all the way up there, yeah? To be fair, he's making movements, so I better get, I better fuck off and carry on. He's taking a little break there, look, see? He's sweating! You sweating? Yeah. yeah. All right then, let's fucking get on, ladies. Again, it's been about 30 seconds to a minute. I mean to take a little break. If anyone that actually does this, you'll fucking realize how blimmin' hard it is. Especially with a bike. Doing it with all these rocks and that, it's not like you can bike up the blimmin' hill. Ryan Unless you're blaming Ryan Taylor, yeah. Okay. You can see all the current going in, look. It's going quite quick. There must be some waves over there. But yeah. I did say that we'd come back to you when we we're actually there, but I didn't realise we was going to be taking another little break. I didn't even realise it was going to be this fucking hard. <clears throat> so yeah, if any of you do this, you'll full on appreciate what we've just done. If you haven't, but I mean, look, look at them islands, lads. You know what I mean, that's all blue, clear as water. We're still in the channel you know what I mean, you get this type of water in like Dominican Republic and Caribbean islands and shit. The weather here is absolutely gorgeous as well. Skirting in this boat. There we go. Anyways, we'll be back with you when we're on top. I promise. I won't take another break. Later. We're at the top. Some lovely couple. Saw me sweating out, lying on the floor. So much appreciated. Oh. Oh, I got a good banana. Yeah, we made it after a little banana break. A lot of people that's in there. Um, gave us a banana each. Probably not gonna lie, the best banana I've ever had. Yeah, this is the old old castle. This would have been two tier. This is the first floor.
Again, you can see where it would have been like hit off. Look, so that's not man broken. Not handmade broken, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Because it was in such a crappy location, it just kept on getting hit and hit and hit and hit. Obviously, these this used to be two tiers, so it got hit that much. There's only one tier left. And apparently, these bad boys said something about they would have been up higher so hopefully not hopefully but hopefully I'm right correct me if I'm wrong if you do know anything about it but I do some research on this whole island on this whole castle I'll put it all in the description yeah every single hole you get would have been a turret or not a turret but a gunpoint see them bad boys that's what they've been working the guns practice on port piece during the 1500s look at me now so that was done in the 1500s and this bad boy castle over here is the 1800s so that's a big difference so they had this castle for much longer but the views that you got in this castle, there's nothing compared to the views that the other castle had. See what I mean? They're missing out that bit. Meaning, people could come walk, could park up their boat there, walk up this bit, and take them from behind sort of thing. But yeah, I may be completely wrong. I'm just going off common sense. That geezer there what told me, told me about it. Let's have a little look around here. <coughs> Again, you can kind of get the perspective of why they got here so much. lived here. This room was a common area for the gunners on duty in the fort. The fireplace and a bread oven lay in the kitchen area and together this was somewhere to eat and keep warm in the cold. Exposed hilltop, the small room at each end was a more private chamber where officers worked and slept. The men may have slept together on the floor above. See, yeah, look. This would have been wooden beams there, look. There's no sign of any wooden beams whatsoever. This must have been like a, a fridge maybe, a storage bit. Who knows? 1500 kids here. Again, this probably was a room, maybe a kitchen. I'm trying to get a perspective of how they used to live back in the day. Like, Yeah, the main point I was speaking to just two seconds ago we was talking about in the World War II, World War about it so you guys could um, get a better understanding on what happened but at least I'm showing you that. Anyone can come here. You just need to come here. Anyone can come here. 
anyone can come into this building, this castle. As you see, we've seen a family of one in the space of an hour and a half, two hours. The uh, population on this island is probably small, I don't even know. If anyone knows the population of the city isles, trust go down in the comments. Because uh, it's a very, very small island. No one at all about, that's a separate, completely separate island. I can't get onto that island without getting a boat, basically. And there's loads of people living on it. Not loads of people, but you see over there, look, there's a couple of houses there, a couple of houses there, there, there. castle may have been more higher than the other one, but it certainly did not last long. Well, it's lasted long, but you know what I mean. Yeah, anyways, that's the explore, explore, exploration, exploring done. That's not even a word, is it? Exploration. That's the exploring done. There we go, look. Peace out, Liam. Until next time, lads.